of spaghetti hats. While I look for a spot, you check in with the Zula Patrol. Well, our annual health checkups are excellent. We'll keep the temperature cuffs on today to get an overall reading. But right huh? now, our body temperatures are all normal. Super! And speaking of temperature, I fixed the air conditioning. Maybe the air conditioning works too well. It's cold in here, but my thermometer cuff says we're still warm on the inside. I wonder why. Good question for the Maltopedia. <laughs> Some types of animals, like snakes and lizards, have body temperatures that change with the weather. If it's cold outside, they get colder inside. And if it's warm outside, they get warmer inside. They're called ectotherms. Ecto means outside, and therm means temperature. But some animals are able to keep their inside temperatures about the same, no matter what the outside temperature is. They're called endotherms. Endo means inside. Dogs, humans, even walruses are endotherms. It's really important for endotherms to keep their inside temperatures about the same, or they can't survive. But why don't they get cold inside? Because an endotherm's body changes the food it eats into energy, which is used to create heat to keep the inside of its body warm. But when the temperature outside gets really cold or really hot, endotherms might need a little extra help to stay the same temperature inside. Walruses and whales, for instance, grow layers of fat to protect themselves from the cold and to slow heat loss from their bodies. And when we shiver automatically in the cold, that motion helps create heat to keep the inside of our bodies warm. But what do endotherms do when it gets hot? Dogs pant to keep cool when it's hot. Humans sweat or perspire. <laughs> right, Gorga. All this temperature adjusting uses lots of energy, which means endotherms generally need to eat often. That reminds me, I'm hungry. <laughs> A distress signal. It looks to be from a remote tropical island full of adventure. Someone's been stranded. This is a job for the Zula Patrol. Whoa. It is hot out here. But look, our body temperatures are still normal. I guess that's because we're endotherms. I wish we were not so hototherms. Okay, let's look for that distress signal. Somebody here is in trouble. And that somebody is you. Perfect. Everything's going according to plan. Oh, don't worry. I'm sure you'll find a way to blow it. It's Dark Truth. After him. It's not working! We can't take off! And that's because you 
walked right into my trap, fool of patrol. <laughs> Enjoy your island vacation while I take over your headquarters. <laughs> I did leave one system working on your ship. The sprinkler system. <laughs> it won't turn off! Ooh, that truder! But it's so hot and dry, I'm almost glad we're wet. <laughs> now it's cold! What happened? It was hot just a second ago. This place must be Echo Loco Island. It's known among scientists for weird, very rapid weather changes. Huh? Oh, great! Our coats are on the ship soaked, and we're stuck in wacky weather world! But even though we're cold and shivering, our body temperature inside is still normal. Until we find a way to get off this island, we must deal with this strange weather. We can get ideas from the local endotherms. This is what Truder used to knock out our ship's power source. You know, I just might be able to get our ship moving again if I can find another power source. Hey! Our tail radios are picking up a beeping sound. It's Truder's distress signal. It must still be on the island. And if it's still working, it must have a power source, right? Right! If we can find it, maybe we can use it to restart our ship. There's not a minute to lose. Who knows what Truder is up to at our headquarters? Follow those beeps! Oh, Trexy, I think we're going to enjoy our new home. With the power of the Zula Patrol equipment, I can control everything on Zula right from the comfort of home. Trudy, you do realize you don't have a clue about how to work any of these things. Nonsense. Watch as I take over Zula with the touch of a button. Unauthorized access. <laughs> Activating jelly hose. Right. I'll get the peanut butter. Look what that bird is doing. I wonder if that's to keep warm. Exactly. It fluffs its feathers to make a thick layer of air to keep out the cold. It helps keep its body temperature normal in cold weather. <laughs> Except now it just turned hot. And sticky. I'll bet the bird is lifting its wings to let the cool breeze near its body. Let's push on, everyone. No sweat. I mean, I am sweating, but that's an endotherm thing. Right. We may feel hot on the outside, but our body's temperature is still normal on the inside. Hey, hold on! Huh. Maybe that pig has a really good idea. Last one in the mud puddle is a rotten endotherm. <laughs> Ah, oh, now that feels cool. This island can't make up its mind! We need shelter. There's a cave. Ah, uh, Molto's lab. The secrets of the universe are in this very room. In wall vacuum cleaner activated. <laughs> We made it just in time. Mmm, <laughs> that fruit looks mighty tasty. Huh? Who said that? Huh? Oh, it's just a bear. A bear? <laughs> Wait, don't leave. You're welcome to share my cave. Well, thanks. We appreciate it. Say, how do you deal with all this quick-changing weather? Well, when it's warm, I eat a lot. When it's cold, I go into a special sleep called hibernation to lower my temperature and save my energy. I bet that thick coat of fur helps you stay warm too, right? Sure does. It grows just before it gets cold and sheds when it's hot. I'm an endotherm, I sleep long term, they call it hibernation. My body cools, sometimes I drool and dream of my vacation. Now endotherm's the proper term for any bird or mammal. The food they eat turns into heat, even in a camel. <sighs> well, time 
to hit the sack. Aha! Uh -huh. This must be where they keep all their most advanced equipment. Trudy, it's a kitchen. Sure, that's what they want you to think, but they don't fool me. This is clearly a Zulean Comet Deflector. You want that comet on whole way to ride? Whew, now it's hot again. <sighs> I wonder if we'll ever get off this weird island. Hey, the beeping is louder. It's Truder's distress signal. Let me at it. Bingo, our new power supply. Now, if we can just get back to our ship before it snows again. I hope this works. I'm in command now, Traxy. With the Zula Patrol alert system, I can send out false alarms all over Zula, panicking everyone. <laughs> Make it stop! Don't look now, Trudy, but the Zula Patrol ship is back and coming in for a landing. Yeah, um, stay calm, Traxy. We'll escape in this elevator. <laughs> Gee, Malto, it seems Truder found your new rocket launcher. Hmm, <laughs> it really works better with a rocket. Well, at least we'll know where to find him from now on, in orbit over Zula. I hope he doesn't get cold. No, uh, he's an endotherm. His body temperature will adjust. And so, if you see Dark Truder orbiting over your house, you might throw him a sandwich. After all, endotherms do need to eat. Hello, Body Warmth fans, and welcome to the Molto Moment. Tessie, do you know how endotherms warm their bodies? By doing the chicken dance? Not exactly. Endotherms like these can keep the inside of their bodies around the same temperature. The bodies of endotherms control their temperature naturally by using energy from the food they eat. But when it's really cold outside, they get extra help by making their own heat within their own bodies. And by cooling themselves when it's warm outside. Oh dear, well, bye-bye for now. Toodaloo. <laughs>